Hey. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Thank you for asking. Um, so this is exciting. We are coming together, introduced from another two-word story share that we have in the mindset community. And you're very into mindset as well and manifestation. We were talking before we hit record. So I love, love, love that. And, you know, every week I, I pop on here with a beautiful person from the community, from all over the world, and they share what their two word mantra is and why. Um, and all it really does take is the simplicity of two words that can really change the channel in your mind. So remembering this mantra, it's like your, your empowering title and how you want to be energetically showing up, right? Mm -hmm. uh, it's the story that you're living and you're telling and, and wanting to live. So I'm going to have you introduce yourself to everyone. That would be great. So hey everyone, my name is Cameron Cole. I am from Houston, Texas originally, and I currently live in Los Angeles. Um, I'm a writer, actress, and a newly to be author. Um, I'm currently writing my first book. It's called Moments to Myself. And it's about living in the moment and what my journey was and coming to understand that. And I also um, am a graduate of Howard University. I went to school in Washington, D.C. And I have founded um, a, a women's event series called Alchemy, which is designed towards helping women connect and grow and just help them to live up to their divine potential. So, yeah. That's beautiful. Wow. You have so much um, like calm energy and it's powerful at the same time. You know, it's very beautiful. I love it. And, and, you know, we will include, of course, all the links to kind of, um, you know, check everything out, you know, and support one another, follow each other, look at posts, like them, comment on them and interact. You know, it's, it's all about I love how um, social media can be such a great space for support and inspiration, you know, mm -hmm. rather than it be uh, people put a negative connotation to right. social media. But so, all right, so we're going to go right into what is your two word story? Okay, so uh, after long deliberation, <laughs> I, I decided that my two word story is be present. And it kind of goes hand in hand with my personal mantra, which is to live in the moment. Um, and that's something that I just kind of said growing up, like, oh, yeah, I live in the moment, and not really knowing what that <laughs> what that meant. But as I've come to grow into my adult life, those two words have been so powerful for me in so many different ways, um, which is really kind of just goes back to just being mindful and being alive and being aware of everything that's happening in the in the now so that's my two word story it's it's beyond powerful and i love the simplicity of it i'm a very much a simplicity advocate i myself and i think many included are overthinkers which kind of puts us in that place to think about the future or think about the past but can you shut down the overthinking and just be present and be in the moment. It's so, so important and such a great reminder for um, you guys pressing play and hearing this message. Like you're hearing it for a reason and be present has landed into your world now. So um, it's definitely, it's so incredibly important. And I love that you said you didn't really realize that you were, were speaking and living into that. Mm -hmm. But then what brought you to realize the power of it? Like, what was it that triggered the two, you know, that pulled the two together? Mm -hmm. I think it was just <clears throat> my understanding of what living in the moment actually was. So I think before I kind of had a limited understanding, um, it was more so like, oh, you know, stop and smell the roses, like just enjoy life. Um, <laughs> but it's come to a, a, a little bit deeper understanding as to like being in tune with Mm -hmm. with myself and when I'm in tune with myself and I'm alert and I'm aware of all like the universal signs the miracles that take place mm -hmm. I'm 
in tune with myself and my emotions. Like I can just kind of um, have the opportunity to really harness the power that I have within me because I can create, I can manifest, you know, all of that good stuff. So, and, and again, it also is not worrying about the past or not overthinking about the future. And it's, it's really just kind of reminding myself, like, I am alive. I'm here now. This is the only time that exists. And mm -hmm. this is all I have. So this is the moment that I'm living in to kind of create the life that I want. So fabulous. I love that you mentioned and brought it back to being present for yourself. And a lot of times people think be present is being present. And it is this, but being present with the current work task they're in or when they're in family time but you even pulled it back more to be present with what's going on inside of you and being tapped into that great wide universe and our spirit team and you know all of the you know you can you can have this spiritual path but then also still have a religious path the two definitely can intermix together um it's having faith and seeing those opening your eyes and being present. You'll see things like numbers like 1111 pop in, or, you know, maybe there's feathers or maybe, you know, your spirit animal and you all of a sudden see your spirit animal. And that's really um, a confirmation. And for me, I think a comforting sign because a lot of times day to day, week to week, we can flow with struggles in our life. Do you agree? Yeah, no, for sure. Yeah, so so like the minute you're feeling, I feel like your mantra too, like if you're ever in a moment through the week that you feel anxious or that you're overthinking or, or you know, can you stop and be present? Like maybe find, you know, I want to ask like, what do you do to be present? When you feel like you're not being present, is there a practice you do? Do you do any kind of breathing or... Sure. So I think just day to day, like whenever I'm praying or meditating, that's like my specific moment to kind of just be present. But mm -hmm. if I'm find myself overthinking or something, I will take deep breaths. Like I will have to like inhale and exhale. I'm like, yeah, this is my jam. Like I do this all the time. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll just kind of breathe or I'll um, sometimes I touch myself like, okay, I'm, I'm here. I'm like in this little body. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Um, and then I just will tell myself literally like, okay, hey, live in the moment, just be present. Like we're here now. Mm -hmm. And it's such a great, it's fabulous that you are, you know, leading with an example of being present. Um, you know that that's your mantra for life and you'll always circle back to it on a daily basis. And there's so much power behind it. And with two word story, you can have be present as like your life mantra for your heart, your soul, your mind, mm -hmm. but then you even can break down further. And I talk about this a lot, but you can think about and meditate. What would your year, like the rest of 2020, what, what is your two word mantra for the remainder of the year? And then break it down even further into a seasonal mantra. So we're about to, I can't believe, end one season and step into a new season, right? Yeah. So you're shedding old energy, stepping into new energy. So having a mantra specific to the season is really, really cool too. Uh, right. Yeah. So thank, well, thank you so much for coming on and sharing this beautiful reminder for all of us. It's a beautiful story that you live. Um, and I'm sending so much abundance your way and love and wish all the best to everyone watching. Thank you guys so, so much for checking it out. And thank you again for being here. Thank you. Yeah. Bye. Bye.